Okay, meeting up with Jason and Brian. Uh, the objective, I guess, today is to go check out the whale. The usual. No, it's just something new. Not that I'm excited about a fallen whale. But I am excited to see how much further the uh, whale has either decomposed or been eaten. But it's a beautiful day here in San Diego for a February. Sunny skies with almost zero surf late in the evening. Another beautiful day in San Diego. Man, it really was a beautiful day. It was sunny skies almost the entire time, but this is at about five o'clock as we got into the water, so it started to get cloudy and overcast. But the visibility here, as you can see, is actually really nice. Um, this is Brian. He's about 10 feet away, and on our way to the canyon, we came across a number of critters. Uh, these are juvenile sheep crab, and here we have the fallen baby whale. So there's definitely additional shark chomp marks in it on its side and its tail. But as you can see here in the video, the whale is um, swaying back and forth in the swell. I'm thinking that its uh, abdomen, as you can see, looks really, really full and it's probably filling full of gas but um, the sharks are starting to eat the body and hopefully, hopefully soon, the sharks will uh, pierce the, the abdomen cavity so that this whale doesn't float away. If that doesn't happen, then I'm afraid that um, the gases inside of its body is gonna start to fill up and this poor little guy is gonna float away and we won't be able to see um, the, decomp the decomposition of the uh, this whale. So it's it's definitely swaying back and forth in the swell. It's starting to get lighter and lighter. So hopefully a predator, um, you know, I hate to say this, but I hope a predator takes a really good bite out of its abdomen so that it doesn't float away. And it looks like they're getting close. Looks like something is starting to uh, venture up towards the abdomen, but it hasn't happened quite yet. From this angle, it looks like the uh, bite mark was pretty big. Maybe it was multiple bite marks in the same area. But these bite marks have been here since the weekend. It doesn't look like there's been too many more bite marks other than maybe on the left side of the tail. There's a couple of good sized bite marks, but I'm, I'm wondering why the predators aren't taking full advantage of this here. Uh, I would have thought that um, there'd be more uh, bites all over this. Literally just feet away from the whale is a um, sheephead den. There were numerous uh, sheephead fish and a ton of lobster literally just feet away. But obviously you get distracted when you see the whale there. We continued on our way south from the whale and came across another sheephead den. Uh, lots of sheephead, and in this one, you can see there is a horn shark. An adult horn shark kind of tucked in there away. It, it didn't bother moving at all. So as soon as I got really close to it, it was just like, hey, what's up? There's a whale to the uh, left of you. Why don't you go check that out?
lobster season's coming to an end here. Not that any of these lobster really care because they're protected in the preserve. There was definitely a lot of lobster hanging out, and I don't know if they uh, are moving in because there is a really big food source right next to them. Literally, like I said, that these lobster and sheephead were just feet away from the uh, whale. Began to make our way back up out of the secret garden, which is where this whale is. And I just love our corals. Again, another sheephead den just kind of tucked in uh, just under these soft corals. And um, because it was a night dive, we came across several octopus just chilling in the sand on our way back to shore. This crab caught my attention because it's a female and you can see its egg sac just below its belly and it's tending to its eggs using its feet. I don't know what exactly it's doing, if it's massaging them or cleaning them off. It was kind of neat to watch. Another octopus as we continued on our way back to shore. This guy was tiny, about the size of my hand. Here's another uh, red crab. I assume this one's a male. Again, I, I can't really tell other than uh, I know if it's holding its eggs, I assume those are the females. Here's Brian on our way back. Jason's the other light. Probably in about 20 feet of water and we're just about to break the surface. I hope you're able to make it out to the whale before the whale floats off. Keep your fingers crossed that maybe one of the predators takes a good bite out of the belly so that the whale doesn't float away. And we're walking back towards the parking lot. I hope to see you guys below. <laughs>